access control assurance is the process of ensuring that your access controls are operating the, the way that they were intended to operate. We start off with audit trail monitoring. Now you have various types of audit trails and audit logs around your system and it's important to have an awareness of what's there and make a decision on what type of events that you want to actually track. Auditing is a large discussion topic because you can audit way more than you'll ever need and end up dogging your system down in the process. For example, the different audit event types could include network events, any type of network activity that goes on in your system, system events on a specific system, anything that happens on that system can actually be logged, such as uh, logins, logouts, uh, any resource access can actually be logged. Within the system, you may have additional application logs, where an application would log and audit activity that goes through its own processing tree. And within an application, you typically would have user logs or user auditing information. And you can even go down to the level of individual keystroke logging. Now, whenever you log or audit individual keystrokes, you're going to have a tremendous volume of audit information. That brings up several issues and concerns with respect to general auditing and logging. As I mentioned earlier, keystroke logging or keystroke auditing can create a large volume of information. Where do we store this information? Do we have enough disk space to store it? Is it stored on a central server? Is that central server on our local network? Do we have to be concerned about whether the information is sent over the network encrypted or non-encrypted? Once the information ends up on the final server, who can access it? Can anyone read it or is it read-write for everyone? So there's lots of additional issues you need to be aware of when developing your monitoring policy. Aside from just monitoring, there are other activities which allow us to assure that, or rather ensure, that our access controls are operating as they should be. For example, intrusion detection or prevention systems are automated systems which may operate on a server or it may operate on a network appliance that detects certain activity and either matches it to a, a, a specific known type of activity or to a rule set that decides, hey, this doesn't look quite right and raises an alert so it can actually detect an intrusion as it's occurring. An intrusion prevention system is one that goes another step further. Once an intrusion has been detected, not only will it raise an alert, but it will also stop the activity and prevent the intrusion as it's occurring. Once you have your access controls in place, it's important to identify what you have in place, identify the goal for each control, and then test to make sure that your controls actually do their job. That's where penetration testing comes in, sometimes called pen testing. It's the process of trying to break your access controls. It's actually a lot of fun. You can have a penetration test that's based on no knowledge. In other words, you pretend you know nothing about the system or you get someone who really knows nothing about your system to attack it. Or you can have limited knowledge or perhaps you knowing the internals and, and all of the details of your access controls use that knowledge to try to break through the access controls and actually compromise your own security. In addition to penetration testing, you'll need to implement other types of testing. You need to make sure that you directly test your access controls, of course, but also go beyond that. Take a look at your particular application. Look at the various resources on your system and make sure that your access controls are only providing appropriate access to the appropriate objects and that those objects are responding in a manner that you expect. Full testing is crucial to ensuring that your access controls are operating the way that they should be.